Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2015, and we're excited to have with us Great Peacock. Live. We're in the studio with Great Peacock. What's up, dudes? Do whatever uh, switching or changing around Thanks you need us. to do. Thanks yeah. to be here. Of course, of course. Uh, would you talk to me a little bit about the uniforms that you're wearing? Are they all custom? Uh, I These are so definitely custom. all one of a kind. Okay, yeah, sure. yeah. They're all super unique. This one's uh, version two. Okay. Uh, this is one of the originals. We used to all wear denim. Okay. Uh, with blunt, with like the, with the feathers yeah, With the here. peacock lapels, okay. we each had our own unique uh, peacocks. Yeah. 
And uh, he's he's still wearing that one. It's still going pretty strong. Nice. Just stitched yeah. it back yeah, up today. This is the only first edition that's still around. I okay. Think. How old? Uh, we're working on about three years with Dang. this thing. Yeah. And three maybe, years. Uh, Maybe three washes. Okay, yeah, one, yeah, because it's just stage clothes, right? right? <laughs> like, yeah, why do you, why wash it? It's just gonna get gross. So that's version two point But did you, did you find that at like a store, or did yeah, you? Yeah, I make found it? this shirt at a thrift store. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I had my mom commission my mother to uh, put this peacock yeah, that's... feather. This is actually the feather, similar to the feather that's on the front of the record. Yeah, right on. So. That's like really elaborate work, you know. It is. It's well, sweet. Nice. Good work. I'm super casual today. Yeah, yeah. You're I going through the business. I left all my clothes in casual. Nashville on accident. Okay, okay. And uh, and the poncho is that version 1.0 as well? No, uh, this okay. is 2.0. Mm-hmm. Probably 2.5. Okay. Somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bit, the big, uh, uh, the big peacock on the back of the poncho is affectionately known as Chauncey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chauncey nice. Named even. I, I actually just learned that. <laughs> okay, that cool. one is Chauncey. That's been, that's been around for a long time. And so, right, I mean, like, in the beginning of uh, forming the band or, or playing shows, was it the idea to wear, I don't know, like, to wear these uniforms? Or, or denim was the first idea, and then from there, these other things evolved? Uh, the poncho was the first idea. Okay. Then he got one, and I didn't buy one. Okay. But then I saw this awesome, like, 70s, like, Blazer at a thrift store, and I was like, I want that. That's what I'm gonna. That play. instead, yeah. And then everybody liked liked that more because like it was like it was like counterpart, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then everything else just kind of slowly formed on their own as every, everybody was wearing denim at first. But yeah. then it's just like no, I don't know. It's like the whole thing. It's like the way the way we dress and the music and everything is kind of like taking its own direction without us even like pushing it there just okay like, sure all sort of happening it's kind of weird yeah yeah no that's cool though like just evolving as like much i was as always the clean cut guy now i'm like my beard the bearded theirs, guy yeah you know? <laughs> they're influencing you to not shave constantly. Yeah, i think it's like the road just does like yeah kind of changes things yeah it gets you a little bit scuzzier <laughs> per day or whatever or maybe just practicality I'll, you know i was plenty scuzzy beforehand but... <laughs> sweet well thank you guys for coming out and yeah. performing for us you can roll into your next song when you ready all right let's yeah. do it tennessee
Live. We're in the studio with Great Peacock. Uh, if we could go around and um, share an early uh, memory or like a moment when you sort of realized that you wanted to do this as a career, like a memory that made you want to perform, uh, whether on your instrument or I don't know, just on stage in general. Anyone? There's like, I don't know. For me, it there's like many. there's been like like ten moments in my life yeah, like that. Sure, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, even one of this group. Uh, this group, I, I was back in school trying to. I'd been in bands forever, and I quit playing music. And we were kind of before these guys were even in the group. We were kind of pushed into this by some friends to like make a recording. So we did, and then we were done with it, and we were mixing it. And I just looked at Blunt, and I was like, it's like dude. I want to do this for real. It's like it just sort of all changed. I don't know, and then it's just I don't know. I feel like, but I, I have mornings like that. Like you sure. know, I have nights where I'm like I'm done, and then the yeah, next yeah. morning I'm like, oh no, we're we're this is gonna be great. We're gonna take over the world. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like down moments, and then just those invigorated yeah. moments because something went really well, or proud of a show, yeah. or something. I think most musicians, it's like it's just this weird, just total weirdness of complete like. Uh, lacking self-confidence and being, like, overly confident, too, depending on what day it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just constant up and down in that sense. Yeah, these yeah. guys might have better stories. Yeah, yeah, or stories of yours or insight on what he said, anyone? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I know when I was a kid, when I was a kid, like, just going to see any concert, mm -hmm. I was like, I got to play drums. I got to play those drums. I mean, it's, it's, like, the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, I don't know, that made me want to play and then... Uh, playing in front of the people, in front of people, the first few times was like, I want to do that. Yeah. All the time now. Yeah. You know. And and so then you were always you were always interested in drums. Like, what stuck out to you? Just you just thought that was like the most badass player well, out there. Well, yeah. I mean, he's got like the most shit to hit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, you man, anything? Uh, for me, I guess it was my freshman year of college. Um, I was playing baseball, hmm. and. I quit that, and you were uh, playing baseball just, for the college. I was playing in yeah. college, yeah. Okay, and it, it was, uh, I guess maybe I had always played music and I'd taken guitar lessons my whole life and stuff. Um, and then once I didn't have baseball interfering with that, mm -hmm. it kind of that took all of my time. So, the transition from being a baseball player into a musician was kind of, it was, it was a lot smoother than I had. I yeah, had planned on, I guess. For sure. And, uh, it, it's turned out for the best, so. Cool. You man, Blunt? Oh, yeah. Well, mine was, like, the quintessential one. Okay. Like, I was in eighth grade. I was really into football. I was terrible at football. And, like, got to be the point to where, like, I was just too small to play. And I was like, hey, I know a couple of chords on the guitar. My brother was playing guitar a little bit. And I was like, maybe I should do that. That's the way I could get like a really cool girlfriend yeah yeah you know <laughs> and yeah so that's what i did and i had i was pretty lucky with the ladies in the eighth grade I was, <laughs> so i was like well just that I guess one I'll year keep going. Yeah. and then in the ninth grade one broke my heart and then it was like <laughs> then the bam. music got better then the music got better it's like <laughs> this is why i was doing this so you know nice. there's like one common theme with all of us none of us wanted to like sell insurance or like work at a bank or do yeah. anything conventional yeah yeah, even that joke earlier about, like, not having an office life because you didn't know how to wear the hot water spigot or whatever. Yeah. It's, like, never even seen that thing before. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks for sharing. You guys can roll into your Absolutely. next track.
Watching Great Peacock on Audio Tree Live. So we can get ready to roll into the last one, but I'm curious if you guys have like a banned beverage, a go to alcoholic <laughs> beverage, either before or after a oh, show, you know? Ask, huh? <laughs> We're not allowed to say bad words, are we? No, you can if you want, yeah. No. It's the uh, internet, man. Which, which, I mean, which one do you want to know about? Okay, well, I'd like to know <laughs> if, the there, speedy if G. there are multiples. Well, and I so, yeah, speedy G. At the yeah, pinnacle, okay. at the peak, okay. at the peak here is the the speedy Gonzalez. Okay, which is all right. It's That's tequila, tequila and Red Bull. Oh. All right, and, you know, That's, just mix it up. Uh huh. Lots of tequila, a little bit of Red Bull, <laughs> enough Red Bull to really get you going. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then, uh, and then. I don't know, the, the most celebratory one, the one that you should drink for uh, New Year's. Does anybody want to do that one? We can't. Yeah, we could. Uh, it's just called a, a TDF. Okay. A, t- a yeah, TDF. Yeah. It's called you a TDF. TDF. 3DF. Yeah. 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 TDF, and it is. Use your it's, imagination. It's yeah. uh, TDF. It's, uh, it's um, Spumante, uh, Extra Dry, and Miller Lite. Okay. All equal parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah all equal, all parts. equal got parts. Got it. And got a got champagne it. flute if you have it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or a solo that, cup. That, that's that the correct celebratory one. <laughs> yeah. I, I, bet, I bet Solo makes their own uh, champagne flutes, too. <laughs> yeah. And are there others? Is there a third tier or, like, another? Well, I mean, basically all of the third tier would be any ice beer. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yes, we're crazy <laughs> about ice beer. Keystone, Keystone ice, ice. Natural ice. ice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are all just, they, they just made better. Yeah, you know? yeah. Of course, yeah. Okay, sweet. Our next album is going to be called Peacock Ice. (laughs) 
Or Ice Peacock. Yeah. Either way, sweet. <laughs> okay, uh, these guys are on tour all the way through the end of October. You can share any ice beverage with them at a before <laughs> or after a show and uh, bring your own champagne flutes. And uh, Making Ghosts, the record is out now. So uh, support them and get it and take it away, boys. All right. <laughs>
watching Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Peacock. Great Peacock. You can get their new record, Making Ghosts, out now and uh, check them on tour. Thanks again to the band for performing. Thank you for having Thank us. It was a real treat. Thank you, guys. It was a real treat. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for hooking it up, and viewers. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.